So could you tell us a little bit about your experience with Temenos and how it's impacted your personal uh, life with your family or with your friends? It's made me more aware of how I act in different situations. So uh, when we go through life, we play all of these different roles. Once you're a husband, once you're a father, then you're an employee, you may be a boss, a friend, whatever. And we have all these subtle different rules that make up our identity and that shape how we behave. And usually we're not aware of that. Um, because we're not aware, we carry one behavior into the next situation. And we could, for instance, carry anger we have at work, home, and then I have a fight with my wife because I'm angry. And she doesn't know anything about why I'm angry and it's not connected to the situation I'm in, but I'm carrying it over. And the same happens the other way around when I'm, uh, when there's so something happening in the street and I get into work and so um, the different, different spaces we operate in, the different containers we operate in have all their different aspects of what's valuable, what's important, where do we want to go, what do we try to achieve, especially when we work with teams. Everybody has their kind of multiple identities they bring to the table and instead of having conflict coming from there, we want to have this diversity to fuel the energy of a great result or for a great result of the team. So Terminus made me more aware of my behavior in these different situations and gave me the language to talk to people and to help teams to understand how they can uh, inc improve their communication, uh, decrease politics, um, decrease time wasted basically on, on all of this stuff that just slows us down, hurts us, creates emotional baggage, etc. And focus on what we really want. And that has greatly improved my life at home uh, and it's a great tool at work to to get things going in the right direction and get all of these blockers out of the way that life usually tends to throw between us or in, into our way. Uh, and have you seen um, any results from the work of Temenos with teams on their behavior? Yes. I ran a Temenos with a team of Scrum Masters and a client. It was a very small one-day version and it didn't go as deep as three-day labs tend to go um, because we were very careful that everybody felt safe and nobody shared anything they were comfortable sharing, things like that. Uh, and it was so profound that they, they all still say it was a life-changing experience. Um, they still talk about the event. It was last autumn and it's May now, so it's more than half a year. And uh, the effects were visible the next day. They changed a lot of their behavior within the same week, and that was really astonishing to watch. I've never seen another um, personal development practice that was so effective with a group of people in a day that was a, a comparably small investment of time mm -hmm. <laughs> with, the, with, with the outcome we've seen. And that's part of my passion for it, that it's, it's so simple, it's easy to understand, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's very effective in its, in its impact, and uh, it's less fluffy, esoteric, hugging than other kind of personal self-development methods that I, I've heard of or experienced which always or m many of them have this awkward like slightly embarrassing touch I'm a software developer I'm an introvert I don't really I don't really like getting into this <laughs> personal stuff and Temenos gives a safe container it kind of it it creates a context in a very very simple and easy way for people to go a little beyond their comfort zone, where they still feel safe, but they are able to uh, together see so much more about themselves than they could, could see before. And I think that's what makes it so effective. 
And with the the group that you saw the uh, the change the next day, mm -hmm. uh, what what kind of changes did you see in the workplace? One very funny thing was there was a Turkish guy, typical macho alpha male, and uh, there were multiple occasions the weeks before where I had this impression, this kind of gut sense that he was afraid of something, and. Uh, just a few days before that Temenos, after a meeting, I, I went to him in a one-on-one -on -one situation and asked him, like, what are you afraid of? And he, oh, I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> like a t typical May reaction. And after that, the Temenos was on the following Wednesday, and from Thursday on, in every meeting where I observed this man, he was talking about fear. And he was, he was not only responding to that topic being brought up, he was bringing it to the table. And that was so astonishing. And a few, so a few days later, I kind of presented that data to him and said, look, look at what you're doing. You're talking about fear all day. <laughs> he was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that really, really changed me. Mm -hmm. And that was, that, that, that was a nice example of, of uh, somebody really profoundly uh, you know, making a step forward in life. Mm -hmm. And our do you have anything else you'd like to add or talk about? A lot. <laughs> How about um, yeah? anything specific to benefits that you would see other people come out with? I think the awareness to the, to the subtleties that make our lives so much easier or so much harder, depending on if we pay attention or not. Like uh, listening to a person, right? It so often happens at, at life, at, at home, at work, that we, we don't really pay attention to what someone says, uh, so we only get half of the message, and we react according to some other situation we are emotionally still stuck in. Mm -hmm. And very much pain comes from this this situation or, or these these contexts, and Temenos enables you to just raise your awareness that little bit that you know. Okay, now I'm talking to my daughter. She wants something from me. She might say it in a way that is not the best possible way, but she probably doesn't intend to hurt me. So let's just assume. Let's pretend. <laughs> And listen again, right? Open your ears, open them again, or open your eyes, open your eyes again, to be present, to be in the situation, and to pay attention to the other human being who's trying to tell you something that's important to them, and make it important to you, right? Give them the honor of being there, listening, and same for the other way around. Um, most people don't listen to you because they are in some other place when you try talking to them. So when you get a reaction that's defensive, when you get a reaction that's offensive, when you get a reaction that is not congruent with the message you intended to send, just calm down, don't be offended yourself. Send it again. Right? Try, to, try to create the context so that the other person can hear you. And it the fascinating thing it, is that it just takes this little investment of a little bit more attention to get immensely great results in being heard and hearing other people. And that makes things so much easier. But it takes away so much pain. Mm -hmm. uh, is, so, and now is there anything else you'd like to share? I th I think coming from that answer, uh, the authentic connection to another human being um, is probably the thing that we miss most in life and the thing that helps us most in life once we have it. It's encouraging, it is fueling us with energy, it is healing and uh, Temenos has a subtle, simple, easy way to create a context so that people can have authentic connections. And uh, to learn that, to train that in a lab setting, is something that's immensely beneficial to work, to life, to everywhere. 
So that's maybe the uh, bottom line, <laughs> the core. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was, that was great.